Hi guys, welcome back to SoCal Fishing and Outdoors. Uh, so first off, I want to start off this video by saying um, this video is not sponsored. I do I do not get any affiliates um, for these products, and so this is what I truly use. I've been using it for years, and I, my YouTube channel right now is only at 65 subscribers as of right now making this video. So um, I don't have any affiliates to this company. I don't have a discount count. Or, excuse me, I don't have a discount code for you guys to buy this stuff, but I promise you will not be disappointed if you use this stuff. Give it a try, you might like it. I'll explain how I use this stuff. And uh, this is kind of like my secret combination um, that I just kind of figured out by just buying different stuff and combining different um, stuff together. So it's a tube, which, um, which tubes are known and proven to work really good for bed fishing large mouth bass um, and small mouth bass. So I just wanted to explain that real quick. I'm not pushing any products on anybody. This is what I use. You could try it out. Why I think it's the perfect combination is because I think it looks really natural in the water. Um, the fall rate of the bait um, and the action of the bait seems really natural and it's a very very specific on what I use and how I use it and I'm going to explain that to you right now. Okay, so let's get right into it and also I apologize about my dirty shelf behind me. I don't have a uh, studio to film in um, so this is what I have right now. Um, I am currently sitting in my boat. I've got, I'll show you real quick. <sighs> I'm just sitting in my boat, my trolling motor right here. I got my uh, 18 horsepower. This is a uh, 14 foot west coaster. All right, so it's a tube. All right, Strike King coffee tube. Let's see if you guys can see that without any glare on it. Okay, Strike King coffee tube. These tubes are really good for fishing bass on beds or just in open water or around structure. A lot of times I like to just kind of drag them on the bottom, uh, especially if I'm fishing at night and just casting around randomly, shore pounding. So the size um, matters a lot because the whole reason why I like this combination so much is because of the fall rate and how natural it looks. So this is, um, it's three and a half inch green pumpkin. You guys could pick up any other uh, colors that you like. I prefer to use natural colors uh, most of the time when I'm fishing. So let me see if you guys can see that. Uh, three and a half inch green pumpkin. So I'll take one out to show you guys. And also these smell uh, really good to me. I love the smell of these baits, especially when you first open it. So, here is a Strike King coffee tube, if you can see that. A little focus on it, a little more. There we go. So, Strike King coffee tube. Three and a half inch green pumpkin. So, that's a tube. Now... The other secret part of this is the tube head. So, uh, the tube head that I use, that I think is the perfect combination, um, at least with this tube, is it is a Bite Me Tackle uh, tube head. It is a 1 16th ounce um, rattle, with the rattle. Extremely, extremely important that you use the 1 16th with the rattle not without the rattle and I'll show you this and I will explain why that's so important so this is exactly what you want I'll put the link for both of these in the description below so that's what you want to get the reason why this is a good combination is uh, once again the fall rate so if you pick up the 1 16th ounce uh, tube head, I'll take one out to show you, without the rattle, 
this is with the rattle. That's what you need to get. Um, very important. Uh, let's see if you can. There we go. So with the rattle. Uh, let's see if we get that to focus a little better. There we go. So that is the 1 16th ounce with the rattle. So, um, so the rattle definitely helps. It adds a little bit of vibration and noise. But mainly, if you get the 1 16th ounce with no rattle, it falls too slow and even has a tendency to float. Um, so it gets too much air in the tube and the weight's not heavy enough to take it down and to get it underneath the water. A lot of times it'll float. Um, so the 1 16th ounce without the rattle is too light. And um, the next step, the next weight um, heavier than this, I believe is 1 8th. I could be wrong. Uh, I believe it's 1 8th. But, I mean, it's not like 1 8th is too heavy, but the fall rate doesn't look very natural. It just kind of plops down. It's like if you use like a quarter inch or something, it's just going to kind of plop down. Or not quarter inch, quarter ounce. Uh, it'll just kind of plop down. And um, I'm going to show you what they look like together right now. So you can get whatever tube head style that you like, um, but these are the styles that I like. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. So this is what it looks like together. Looks pretty fishy to me, and fish think so too. They think it looks pretty tasty. So what? What you do with it is you get it on the bed and pop it up and down. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you, I'm going to kind of be able to show you what it looks like, uh, what the fall rate looks like. I don't have a, a big tank that I could use. Um, I have a little vase. Um, I apologize about that. You'll be, you'll get a good idea of it. Um, you know, it's been raining uh, every weekend for like three weeks, um, two, two weeks, three weeks, something like that. I tried to go out last weekend, a lot of the water was muddied up and um, not very clear. So when I have a chance, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I use it on the actual bed. I'll show you in the vase right now, just so you can see the fall rate and the reason why I like it. Okay, so this, let's see if we get focused on here. All right. So, I apologize, this definitely isn't the best setup, but it's something that I can show you. Hopefully it focuses on it moving. Okay, so, um, I have this tied on to just 12 pound test by hand, so you can kind of get an idea on the fall rate, see how it fall, falls kind of slow, uh, but not too slow and not too fast. I don't like it when I'm bed fishing, I do not like it like using stuff that just kind of plops on the bottom just like kerplunk um, so so you guys get an idea on that you can hear that um, rattle too again I mainly buy them with the rattle just because it gives it that perfect balance of weight Tell me what you think of that. If you like this combination, if you don't like this combination, again, I will be using this um, at a lake on a bed, and I will film that. So just real quick, I also want to just explain a little bit on how I like to use the bait. So obviously on the bed, popping it up and down, dragging it through the bed. A lot of times they hit this bait, pop it up because it's got that slower fall rate pop it up and they'll just rush it and just they'll slam it when it's when it's falling down a lot of times I catch them when they're off the bed too so a lot of times when you're bed fishing if you don't know if you're new to bass fishing is a lot of times see the bass will get spooked they'll go off their bed but be patient they always come back 
and they're, they'll always be around. So a lot of times they'll swim off, they'll come back, they'll swim off, they'll come back. So also what I like to do if they're not hitting it on the bed, a lot of times what I do also with with this bait is I'll, ca I'll fan cast it around the bed, maybe uh, in a maybe 10 to 15 foot radius around the bed. I'll fan cast it and I'll just kind of pop it. Boom, boom, boom. I'll pop it back towards the bed and I'll cast it in another spot. Boom, boom. I'll pop it back towards the bed without letting it hit the bottom. I'll just cast it out. As soon as it hits water, just pop it, pop it, pop it. And it goes through the water. It just goes pew, pew, just like that. <laughs> um, so, again, I'll be able to show you guys on an actual lake. I haven't been able to get out lately, but I really wanted to get this video started. So just explain that to you guys and if you want to use it. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think of that combination of baits, if you use it, if not. And um, again, very specific on the 1 ounce with the rattle. It gives it the perfect weight in my opinion okay so that's the end of the video i hope you guys like it leave a comment down below let me know what you think of that combination do you like it you don't like it you do you already use it have you already figured it out if you haven't tried it try it out you might be surprised on um how well you like it and i mean the presentation in the water in my mind is just absolutely perfect we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching